Drumming. <laughs> the Centers and Pens Podcast, episode 325 for Wednesday, June 12th, 2019. This is Brian. This is Lisa. I'm just trying to do what I can to make Justin laugh. Okay. All right. Tell me the joke. Go. Here you go. So what did the duck say Quack. <laughs> when it bought the lipstick? Put it on my bill. God. It's good, right? You know, I want somebody like Justin to go back through and watch every video for the first like two minutes and see the joke and then count how many times you go, that was good, right? (laughs) Almost every time. I know. Anyway. (sighs) Help me. So anyway, it's a good, good dad joke. So yeah, Father's Day is coming up this weekend. So it is. So by the time that you watch this, um, before the next podcast, happy Father's Day to all of you who are um, biological fathers, adoptive fathers, stepfathers, mothers acting as fathers, whatever. Yep. Happy Father's Day. So. Oh God, that's this weekend. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Do we have a gift for you? Yeah, right. That's right here. No, 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 no. no. Right. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you have a pen set aside? Nope. I don't, oh, God. Um, you know, the kids will do their usual, like, gift card from Starbucks something. or something. Yeah. And yeah. That's all right. No. You, you know, you've got enough pens. You don't need a pen, right? Okay. All right, well... So we still have a couple of days left. Yes. Um, to get Father's Day. I almost said Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting that big a present. <clears throat> Tell us to, to get to get your Father's Day gifts uh, shipped and uh, to your house in time for Father's Day. So we've got a small selection here. We actually have a Father's Day category on the website. We do. So That's pretty cool. just some suggested ideas. Of course, there's thousands of other ideas, but we've got a couple here that are kind of interesting. Um, let's, uh, let's whip through these. Okay. Look at this. This is cool. I like this. Everybody needs a keychain. Actually, I'm kind of in need of a new keychain. This one. Is a USB. Is a USB stick. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Do you remember <clears throat> when USB drives first came out and they were like hundreds yes. of dollars yes. for like a one. I'm trying to get this open and I don't know. Gig <laughs> or I don't even know what they were. Oh, this is gonna look bad. Oh, it goes in that way. Oh, okay. that's yeah, funky. there we go. Yeah, right. there it goes in. So. Um was that magnetic? No, it's not. But it's Hugo Boss. It's real nice quality. It's thick, it's sturdy. It's nice and sturdy and thick. Um it's got a little texture on uh, on this front side. Yeah, these are these are cool. It's a nice, nice They've looking. done a nice yeah. job yeah. with yeah. their accessories. So. All right, what else do we have? Uh right next to it. I love this. This is a good pen. I like this pen. The uh the pilot vanishing point, this is the stripes. All metal, really pretty. Um very subtle ridges. Um there is some texture to it. They're not just kind of painted on. Um it is actually a groove in the metal, uh, very very thin, but but nice. It's yeah. a little heavier than the regular. It's not as heavy but as I thought much. it was going to be. Yeah. yeah, it's not as heavy as I thought yeah. it would be. But so it's still really nice, really nice. Yeah, it's a great looking pen. And I like that it's not smooth, so that it's not too slippery. It yeah. actually it's not a huge fingerprint magnet. Yeah, so. it's really nice. Anyway, it's cool. It's industrial. Gotta love it. And who doesn't <laughs> like the click? That's just fine. <laughs> I think you want one. Yeah, I have a couple vanishing points. I have a decimo. I have all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, next up, it looks like our theme today is, is black and gunmetal. Uh, this has actually been a very popular. Uh, this is a ballpoint, so you know, if your father's not a fountain pen guy, um, this is really cool. This is the Hugo Boss Diverse Wire, which has got this really cool braided. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. It's cool. Braided barrel, nice ballpoint. It's got this uh, kind of dark, almost ruthenium coated trim. 
matte black cap. It's it's cool. It's very. It's probably been the best selling Hugo Boss uh, pen that we have. Yeah, it's nice and masculine. It's I like that. Again, I'm not a fan of a super smooth barrel. Um, in case you get, uh, you know, it's too slippery for you. This is this is nice. Yeah, spring okay, so. clip, good pen, solid pen. I do like that. This one, um, which one is this? Pure. The Hugo Boss Pure. Pure Chrome. Uh, this is a roller ball. It's got no refill in it. It's in the box. It's in the box. Um, again. <laughs> You're looking at me for <laughs> Like, where'd it like, go? Oh, yeah, hang on. Let me, let me, let me grab <laughs> that for that you. Out. <laughs> um, this has a slightly, uh, it's not really a chevron. It's almost like a barley corn pattern. Um, not quite as ridged, but definitely there is texture. Uh, it's not just painted on or covered over with lacquer. And I like that it tapers slightly on the barrel so that when you put the cap on, uh, it posts well. So there you go. Well, yeah, uh, the piers of piers are nice. I like the design. It's really nice. Um, well, Father's Day's coming. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I, got, I, have, I have enough roll of all some ball points. Uh, next up is the Hugo Boss. Uh, this is the column. Uh, this is also very similar. Uh, Hugo Boss does a lot of texture and mixes texture in smooth surfaces. So the the column has column stripe is striped barrel black with a shiny black cap, a uh, nice kind of frosted cap band and a, and a chrome clip. So a nice ballpoint, um, pretty good weight. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, um, but I again I do like that the barrel has a little texture um, and that matte finish makes it not slippery but uh, yeah. it is definitely a, a sleek looking pen. And the ballpoints use Parker style refills and the roller balls use a standard Schmidt 8088 or 5888 um, or Waterman style refill. So uh, easy to get refills once dad uses it up. All right, what else? Uh, next up, continuing the black trend. Uh, what's not to like about the Lamy 2000? Very true. Uh, Macrolon, piston filler, gold nib, under 200 bucks. Um, just an all-around cool, timeless Sneak. design. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, what more to say? Great clip. Kind of their flagship um, pen. Yeah, just super popular. Nice look. So. All right. Good. And then uh, we've got a couple accessories. We've got the um, Giuliano Mazzioli uh, money clip. Yeah. These, the are, these are good little stocking stuffers. This is... That's a sturdy. I'm gonna sturdy, hurt myself. You're probably easy there. It's it's definitely it's spring loaded, sleek. Kind of matte gray. Kind of a, a frosted, frosted metal, yeah. yeah. Um, Industrial. Do you have any money? I'm married. I have kids. I don't have any money. Do you have any cash? No. Oh, I want to see. All right. So well, wait a minute. I, I might have ten bucks on me. What are you doing with ten bucks? Well, You're holding well, you out know. on me. Here we go. Here, there's there's two dollars. I think is what right. I'm saying. But it holds it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Uh, and also we have uh, the Masuoli. Uh, it's a kind of a cool keychain. It looks like uh, well, it's a chain. It looks like a bike chain almost, yep. and then it's got a kind of a hex driver on there. Almost looks like a um, Allen wrench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Those cool. Are cool. I was playing with these before. It's almost like a slinky. A slinky. Slinky. You don't remember those? I do. Yeah, I'm <laughs> old enough to remember slinkies. Of course right? I Right? But it, it's like a slinky. I, I guess. It's like a bike chain. Anyway, just a, a few of several dozen hundred options for you. Dozen uh, hundred. Dozen hundred. Okay. All right. Father's Day, um, at the very least, if you don't buy your dad, father figure, whoever, a gift, at least call them, send them an email, uh, something. Yep. I have All to right. remember to call Bob and... Very good. Yep. All right, next up, ink. Ink. Go. Uh, the James Dean, the Mont Blanc Rebel Red. I love this bottle. Look at that big square base. It's a nice dark red. Got Jimmy on the bottle there. Jimmy? Jimmy. Jimmy Dean. That's the sausage. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. 
James Dean. Nice color. I, I like the color. It's Chili a nice Dean. rich. Are you hungry? Yeah, I didn't have breakfast. <laughs> um, uh, it's a nice, nice darker. It looks like a darker red. Um, you know, Mont Blanc does a really good job with their um, great characters and uh, great writers, the writer's edition with their ink, like 99% of the time. And this is one of those mm -hmm. 99%. Um, just a great color. Um, and I do like the bottle. I like them even after they're empty and you can yep. just put them on your it's windowsill. It's a solid bottle. It's, them, it's yeah. gorgeous. It it's, really looks it's good. It's sturdy. A little, so. Put a little water in there and you get a little color. So. There you go. Um, so yeah, Mont Blanc, uh, James Dean, Rebel Red, that's in stock. Uh, next up, uh, this just sh literally just showed up. I completely forgot that it was on back order. That, this was on back order. Uh, the Namiki Chinken Crane. Um, we actually ordered this back in October, and here it is today. This is probably one of the most popular in the Chinken series. The crane is just really wonderful. Um, and, and chinkin is a process, unlike other maquillet where you paint on the barrel, chinkin is actually, they're, they're carving out and then filling in. So it's almost the reverse. Um, so you really can't make a mistake in, in the design. But, uh, or if you do, you have to start over. Yeah. Or, yeah, or change the design. As they say, you know, you're a really good artist when you can fix your own mistakes. But um, beautiful two-tone nib. It's got Mount Fuji on there. Uh, really a f really nice, nice looking pen. Arushi lacquer, of course. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That'd be a great Father's Day. Gift. Yeah. Sure. I, I would think of you every time I wrote with him. No. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice weight. A it's a nice size. Yeah. Good. Keep trying. Um, 18 karat M. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice, huh? Yeah, it's pretty. I can see. I can see your your thinking. I'm thinking I want to take this back upstairs and put it back in a display case yeah, and right. sell it to someone and make someone happy. Well, they've been That's basically unavailable for quite a long time. Uh, and uh, I didn't even remember that we had it on back order. So it just showed up. So we do have a chink and crane available for you maquillet enthusiasts, mm -hmm. um, should you want to. Uh, now on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Yes. Um, we do have, just to remind people, we do have the Lamy Safari pens in the new pastels um these are pretty this blue is nice okay blue pink and green yeah it's cute you know color matching section silver nib um it's it's quite a pleasing color palette for for, for lamy yes it is uh, it's nice to not have um neon or a dark color it's just very very springy very yeah. springy they've done a nice job yeah, the, the pink is actually, I hate to say it, I like the pink. It's kind of nice. It's like a powder. It's just a, you can like a rose. Pink. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's almost grayish pink. No. No. You don't think so? No. It's I like pretty. It. It's nice. It's pretty. nice. You know, you could look pretty in pink. Uh, extra fine, fine medium nibs on those. Um, everything else you love about a Lamy okay. so far. So. What are these? Uh, oh, these are these are extra. <laughs> Completely forgot about these. These are other ideas for Father's Day. Of course, we have field notes. Um, Great for the pocket. This is the mile marker, the the special. These are fun. Edition, and then that's like Isn't a little teeny tiny. That's just friendly. Did I miss anything else here? No, I think I got everything. I think but, that's it. So, um, and so the pastels lead into pastels. I just said that. Yes, they lead into pastels, Esterbrook pastels. Mm. So. Um, we've been, uh, well, I should say, I, I hate to say this, but I've been finding pastels lately. So oh, dear God. We have, um, I thought we were out, and then I found another slaughter box full of, <laughs> of Estabrook pastels. <laughs> and they're, uh, they're great. They're great little pens. And when I say little pens, they are on the smaller size. They are the, basically the fourth size of Estabrook. So everybody, people are familiar with Estabrook and they know of the J, which is the largest size, the LJ, which is... Full length, but skinny. Right. And the SJ. Which is shorter and skinny. And then there's the pastels. We, won't, is, get it, we won't get into the model names because it does get confusing, but they are skinny and shorter than an SJ. Yes. So they are... 
And skinny meaning skinnier than the J. The J. Yeah, they're slender. Not, not slender. super skinny. Yeah. Um, um, what do you mean? I have to leave. I'm going to go home. <laughs> And I'm going to see what else you've got no, 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 hidden no, 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 no. in a box. No, I, I thought we put everything out. We, well, we did. We did. But I, I thought you labeled all the boxes. No. There's a pile of stuff that I'm working at. Anyway, uh, they, they started coming out around 1949. They went through about 55, 57. Um, and they, they were really cute. So they were, of course, they were geared toward ladies. They came in what they called a petite pack. Um, Those are adorable. Adorable little plastic packs. Um, uh, not terribly durable after all these years, but uh, they came in a number of different patterns, faux jewels, yeah. um, and a number of colors. The first generation came with black jewels, and then the later generation, and they were more pastel -y. They were more like these, these Lamy Safaris. The later generation pastels were darker colors, and then they had color matched jewels. Um, and then you have random ones that the jewels don't yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, they don't match. Um, which is just weird. Which is different. Um, but uh, and they had matching mechanical pencils. Yes. Uh, no ball points, but you could get the two as a set in a petite pack, or you could just get them individually. Uh, they take the standard Esterbrook Renew points. So if you have a J and you want to put your your favorite nib into the pastel, you can. Same deal. Uh, they have a very short section. Yes. Because they do. it's a very, very it's, it's a, a short it's a short pen, but lever fillers, they only fill from the bottle. Um, I don't know how many colors they made. I would have to count. But I think we have a full we have a full set. Full complement. In our collection. Okay. Uh, it's quite a large number though. It's probably what would you say twenty five maybe different colors? Pushing that. Yeah. Couple dozen, maybe. And so, what do we have now? What did you find? Uh, we have a couple of the first first generation, the lighter pastels with the black jewels, and then we also have some of the later generations, the country greens, one of my favorites. Yes. Uh, dark green with kind of a bluish green jewels. Uh, we have uh, the two rarest colors possible: Aloha Gold and uh, Temple Red. I love the red. Um, which has matching red jewels. The Aloha Gold's got matching gold jewels. Um, Think 70s kitchen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have a bunch of those. We have the standard light blue, the light green, uh, pink. I've got a yellow pencil. So if you need a oh, cool. matching mechanical pencil to, for your yellow, we've got that. But okay. uh, real, real fun, it, real fun set to collect. The one thing about them is typically you find them with hairline cracks in the cap. Very, very, very common. Um, reason being, material is very soft. And also, when you look at it, if you post the pen, the cap goes over the back end of the lever. So if for whatever reason the lever is not sitting flat, you can bump it with the cap, and then it causes stress, and it cracks. So um, what we've been selling are crack-free and is pretty tough to find these days really good examples so awesome um we have some that are have issues but i haven't put those out yet okay so but anyway that's what we've got for pastels yeah uh and of course that leads into uh we do have a vintage mailer every friday definitely sign up for the mailing list it's at the bottom of every page on the website um we've got our normal tuesday mailer but then the Friday mailer is vintage and, and what we call sometimes mid-century modern. Yep. It's like modern vintage. Everything's um, at least 20 to 30 years old, if not much older. But the vintage pens go fast. So when you get that email, if there's something you're interested in, we can't stress it enough. Yep. Click on it if you're interested. Grab it then because they they go fast. Yeah. It's shocking. Yeah. It's awesome, but these, shocking. And these and especially like these these pastels. They um, this is the last probably the last group of colored pastels in this type of condition we're going to have. Um, I've got some more nurses pens and things like that, uh, but uh, the colored ones in perfect condition. This is going to be the last batch for a while. Can I get that in writing? Sure. Okay. Until I find something else. Oh my Anyway, that's so that's that. Uh, we do have an announcement um, coming up next week. We do. We are super, you know, we're just not properly enthusiastic because this is a huge big deal for us. 
Um, we've known this is coming. Um, Brian, uh, we will be down in Chicago next weekend, the 21st and 22nd. Friday, at our Saturday. Yep. Friday, Saturday at our Chicago store, uh, launching a new line of pens. Yes, the Sailor Special Nib program. Uh, will be available at our Chicago store only. Um, these are not to be sold online. We will not have these at shows. These will not be in Appleton. Appleton right. This is in Chicago only. Um, these nibs are what everybody's been waiting for. Yep. The Naganata Togis, the Emperor, Emperor the Fude, Crosspoint, Cross Fude's Music. Fude cool. Um, Fude is just cool. Now, we should, we should mention that there are, uh, everybody always wants to know about the King Eagle, the King Cobra. They're not being made. Repeat that. Uh, the King Eagle, King Co Cobra are not being made. Um, the special nib program is only being offered on a very special 1911 large body. So the whole program has been redone completely, from completely what changed. it was a couple years ago when we had the bespoke pens. And so they, uh, in order to keep it sustainable, uh, coming from Japan, uh, it's now restricted um, distribution, and they have completely revamped the nibs that are available. It's one body. Um, they've really kind of trimmed it down and simplified it, which is good. Mm -hmm. There used to be in excess of, I think, 300 oh, different options. It was crazy. Across all sorts of different models, pen, model pens. These are, these are black 1911 larges. They do have a, a special section so it doesn't interchange with the standard 1911 large. A uh, special cap band, you can get them in black and gold in all nibs. And for Naganata Togis, in that there will be available medium fine, medium and broad only. Uh, they are available in black with rhodium trim, and those are the only nibs that will be available rhodium plated. 21 karat gold. Hand ground by uh, Yukio Nagahara, and he has two assistants. Um, but uh, really fantastic. Cross music, phew, that pens on my list. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Yes, she said oh, yes. No, 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 no. Did it again, did it again. Um, we will have a tester set of all of the nibs that will reside at the Chicago store. Um, it will never leave, it lives there. So anytime you're in Chicago, come on in, sign the, the bespoke guest book, um, try out the pens, play with them. Uh, they are at the moment all special order. Yes. And yeah. it does take one to two months. These are made to, to order, order essentially. Yes. So just Six. like a bespoke suit or something like that. Um, these are custom. So when you order it, then they make it. Um, so that adds to the exclusivity of it. There um, are actually a, a, a limited number per month that we can actually purchase. So, yes. Um, but one to two months is great considering, considering. what it used to be. Uh, it was, you know, 90 days minimum, and then it was 120, and then that made came to six months, and then it was a year, and then at and some point... And then they point, finally said, we're not even going to let you order yeah, yeah, because we, they were so far back ordered. We had so. some some pens that were back ordered 18 months. So, um, so these are one to two months is great. Fantastic. Really, really great. Um, but yeah, the you go in, you'll try the nibs and decide which one you want, and then we will order it for you, so... But uh, it is in store only. You cannot call. You have to be there to try them out. Right. So, but uh, it's going to be awesome. To have these is so amazing. And these, um, they look different than they did before. Mm -hmm. um, the, the basics are the same, but they've changed the aesthetic a little bit. Um, it's just, it's super exciting to finally have these and to be able to offer them to the Chicago area. Um, so, all summer, when you're on vacation, you're looking for something to do with the kids, go to Chicago, do all the touristy things, and then drop the family off at like the Art Institute for a couple hours, come and play at the store, go pick everybody up, go to Miller's Pub for dinner, Bob's your uncle. Yep. There you go. So uh, next week, Friday, Saturday, 21st, 22nd, uh, will be the official launch. They will not be there before then. 
So uh, if you do happen to go in early, they're not going to be there because I'm, I'm bringing them down with us. And uh, come check them out. They're awesome. We have in, in our, since we've become bespoke dealers, I think we've only ever had one cross music. So, and that was just a fluke that they had it. Yeah. So now this we're able exciting. to get it. You know, if 20 people come in and they want to buy a cross music, we're going to be able to get 20. So um, that's exciting. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. So. And while you're there, don't forget, uh, we also have the uh, Sailor Ink Studio inks, the 100 different colors, again, only available at our store in Chicago, brick and mortar only, only place in the entire Midwest you can get this. Yep. Um, so definitely come on in. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Get yourself a pen and a bottle of Ink Studio. Very exclusive, very yes. exclusive. So There you go. Uh, and I believe uh, 123 is back in stock so that's at the that's, moment, at the moment. <laughs> yep um, you know everything takes uh, about two to three weeks uh, ordering because uh, it comes directly from Japan it doesn't it's not stocked here in the United right. States so when we order it it literally we have to wait for the next shipment so uh, but yeah next week uh, come down and check it out it's gonna be awesome you'll see some things on social media probably before then yes uh, and we'll uh, stay tuned we'll have uh, hours of the event and all that stuff coming up yep so. Uh, we should do a quick recap of um, our travels for the rest of the year. Okay. Pen shows. Okay. Um, the first weekend in August, we will be um, vendoring. Is that, a, is that a word? Vendoring. It is now. We will be um, a vendor at the DC show. We will be at the Dallas show. And so DC is the first weekend in August. Dallas is, I think, like the 27th or 28th, that Friday, Saturday in September. And then we will also be attending the Columbus Pen Show. Yes, one of my favorite shows. Um, that is it for the rest of the That's year. It. Yep. So, which lends itself to our other information. Go. Cool. We're going to take a summer hiatus from the podcast. Um, everybody else is on summer break. It might be yeah. nice for us to uh, have a little break. Um, we've got some staff going on vacation, and uh, it would just be nice to be able to... Uh... Our daughter's moving away to college. I'm going to cry. <sighs> no, you're not. we got to figure out how to get her stuff there. So we just have Does a lot of... Does she watch the podcast? Is she going to hear that? She's probably going to hear it when Justin oh, edits okay. it, or he'll make sure that he turns the volume up for that. Love you, yes, kids. you're going to cry. Love you. Whatever. Um, so anyway, we've just got a lot of personal things going on this, uh, this summer. And so we're going to take a hiatus and then, uh, we will be back at some point some after point. that. Yep. Should, okay. should, should be hopefully, you know, before the end of the year, but well, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. There you so go. maybe, maybe I'll do it with a special guest. Or something <gasps> That'd be someone. fun. You got to do it with Eric once. I know. So you should. All right. Maybe we can have like a masked bandit. Like the masked singer? No. That TV show? No, that's weird. Okay. So, anyway. Anyway, so I but think we that, made Justin laugh like four times this time. This is awesome. We're rocking right. it. Uh, do we have anything else? No, I'm just talk about? jamming it. Okay, we made Justin laugh. You know, he's so serious. Uh, you know, you know, we sh uh, speaking of uh, speaking of Chicago. I do want to mention one more thing. As long as we we're, we're here, okay. Um, July thirteenth. Yes. <clears throat> which I believe is a Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, in Chicago. This is cool. Special event, Sid Saperstein from Wall Eversharp is going to be in our store. We're going to be showing off the Deco Bands and the new Wall Eversharp signature pens, which is, uh, for like, lack of a better term, is a two-thirds. The smaller Deco Band, It's a smaller Deco Band. It's a great size, really great size. So uh, Sid's going to be in the store. Uh, I'll be there, and we'll have, uh, I think you'll be there too. I think I will and, be. Um, we're going to have all of Sid's stuff on there. We've got uh, the, 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 the skylines. We'll have those, of course. And who knows what he's going to have between now and July, um, you know, new models or whatever. So He's a trip. He's, he's a a trip. very knowledgeable about, uh, about Wall Eversharp, yes. the vintage pens, of course. Uh, but these are something to see, especially the deco bands, huge The new pens. colors. Yeah. And yeah, the, I'm, I'm excited to see them. So it's going to be um, cool, and it'll be a regular addition to the lineup uh, in Chicago. So we've got... The Sailor Specialty Nib Program launch on the 21st and 22nd mm -hmm. of June. And then we have your birthday at the end of June. Then we have 4th of July. Is that a gift-giving holiday? 4th of July? No. Okay. No, it's not. He said it. Awesome. And then um, the SID 
uh, Saperstein, Wall Eversharp. Wall Eversharp event mid July, and then my birthday. And it's then a your birthday, busy. Yeah. It's, it's a busy, busy summer. So, cool. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> uh, make sure to follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, I guess I can't say join us next week. That's why I skipped over yeah, that one. Thank you. Uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And of course, uh, there's a store in Chicago, ground floor, the Palmer House Hilton. Uh, we're open seven days a week. And the website is chicago.andersonpens.com. Don't forget to. Um, if you would do us a favor, like this video, give us a thumbs up, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.